Hey, Jeff speaking. Um, perspective. So I've been feeling a bit down. My shoulder's really, really, really caning, and I keep putting it down to that I'm just getting old. But as it turns out, it might not be that I'm getting old. A couple of weeks ago, I said European cars don't run wheel nuts. So normally, cars that most of us are used to, they're like wheel nuts poking out of the hub that the wheel sits on. So the nuts just hold the wheel on. So when you fit a wheel to a car, it'll sit there and you can screw the nuts up and it's all hunky-dory. Well, the other day I was working on a, I think it was an Audi, might have been a BMW. Who the hell knows? Could have been anything. And they run bolts. So the wheels basically are only held on by the bolts. So if you remove the bolts, there's nothing holding the wheel on. Now, some mid 70s early 80s cars had a little stud that it would just sort of sit on to stop it falling off but this car was up at about chest level and the wheel came off and it was a nice chrome shiny wheel that stuck out past the tire which is like the look everything looks all the wheels look like they're way too fat for the car or the tires look like they're way too small it's a look it's not my personal preference but you know each to their own so as the wheel came off, I actually caught it and I felt something go twang in my shoulder. It's been mostly okay, but it's been a couple of weeks and over the last couple of weeks, it's been getting sore and sore. So I went to the doctor this morning to get a referral, to go and get an x-ray and a scan and stuff and see if uh, it legitimately feels like it's trying to pull out of its socket. I don't think it is. Anyway, the reason that I bring this up in, under the, the subject of perspective is sometimes when you're in pain you make decisions differently or feel differently about things than you perhaps might can you hear the plane tell me if you can hear the plane anyway you make decisions about things that are different than you would if there is no pain uh, the, the, the 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 fight or flight or the the pleasure pla pleasure pain response is just a thing in humans if something's enjoyable you're going to be more likely to do it that is why social media has worked so well because humans get the little hit of like, oh, somebody liked it. Oh, I've got a thousand friends. It's not a true thing, but because of our biology, because of our evolutionary traits, it's enabled this completely unrelated thing that has no basis in reality to sort of infest our, I don't know, lizard brain. Would you call it the lizard brain? But the instinctual part of our brain that sort of wants to be part of a group, wants to be included, this makes us think like we have, we are in a group, we're included, when at the end of the day these people don't know you, I don't know these people. I changed Facebook accounts because there was people on my old account that just rubbed me the wrong way that I had to respond to and it wasn't healthy, it wasn't constructive, and they weren't really my friends, so what did it matter? So I've decided to keep a much smaller group of friends. It makes it much more difficult to build a profile on a platform like YouTube when I don't, in an ideal circumstance, really like social media all that much. So, perspective. I was talking to my friend, it was only through um, Messenger, but I was talking to my friend the other night and he goes, you know, at the end of the day, your wife loves you. You're building a life together. You're not unhappy. Why are you feeling so down? And it's like, well, a bit of pain, a bit of old, working too many hours. Sometimes the not excellent things in your life seem to outweigh the things that are actually good. So like because I'm working so many hours, I can't enjoy the things in my life that I like to enjoy or do the things in my life that I want to do like this anywhere near as much as I would like to do them. You know, it sort of drags me down a bit. Plus, I'm not necessarily a positive person at the end of the day. I'm not saying I'm negative. It's a chopper. Uh, I'm not saying I'm negative, but I'm not necessarily positive. Sometimes I tend to prefer to look at the worst possible scenario of something so that I'm prepared for it. Although, that may tend to lead to other problems because you then work towards the worst instead of working towards the best anyway perspective everybody's perspective is different so people can come to the same conclusion 
from completely different ends. And that's their perspective. And then if they bring that perspective into a group, whether it be in a discussion or whether it be in a business situation, then their perspective will actually change the outcome even though they're starting from the same place because they've come from different ends. So some guy has come from the factory floor, another guy has come from management and when they work themselves together, they realize that the task that needs to be accomplished can be accomplished from different directions but at some point everybody has to be on the same page. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm on the same page with myself at the moment, let alone other people. Anyway, have an awesome day. Have a great uh, Sunday. Um, Be excellent to one another. And um, I mean, if you want, I'm not your boss. It's your choice.